Zach tweeted that uh, final exams took some guys away. Uh, commencement take any seniors away, or was it all? Uh, uh, commencement, um, the, the walking component of it will actually um, take Devin Mahina away tomorrow. And I, there's two others that just slipped my mind just as you asked me that question. Lonnie, so, no. No. Um, yeah. I'll have to get back to you Michael anyway. Lisa, who knows? Yeah. And other than that, finals, I guess, today? Okay. Yeah, and no, I think that's a relief for, for all <laughs> of us because it's um, most of the guys that have been taking finals have been missing uh, one of the two practices on two a days or meetings on other days. So it's been hard for them to manage. What do you, you want to see the scrimmage tomorrow? What are you looking for? Um, I'd like to see um, the next step of our program that's reflected another week of practice. And so I was really encouraged by what I saw the first scrimmage. I would like to see, um, and we'll scrimmage everybody tomorrow, so I'd like to see really clean execution offensively. I'd like to see physical defense. I'd like to see good tackling. I'd like to see us protect the quarterback well, throw and catch the ball well. And I'd like just to be able to then assess what the personnel is and. Uh, maybe sort out uh, definitively what the two deep will actually look like, see where our kicking might be. So a lot of questions that will then frame the amount of work and what needs to be done from that point till our opener. We didn't see Harvey Longy out there. Is, is that a long-term injury? Or uh, um, n not that I know of, um, and I don't think so. But Brett will handle all that in terms of uh, being able to give you details. How's it nice to have Tony Knuch back out on the field? Didn't even notice Tony Knuch today. <laughs> it shows you how observant I was. Um, if he was out there, it makes me feel really good. <laughs> Is Marcus Johnson still the, the front runner for the nose tackle? I would say time? Travis Tuiloma, if I were to tell you today. As a unit, are you happy with those guys? Yeah, I like our defensive line. Um, there, there might not be as many uh, featured players, uh, but what the depth has given us, I think collectively, will probably overpower what maybe one featured player might be able to do. When you talk about the depth at wide receiver, it seems like maybe you see different combinations running with the ones that you can go so many different places. Uh, the, the, the good part for our team right now, um, at after practice 15, almost the end of the second week of camp, is at offensive line, we're still three deep. At defensive line, we're still three deep. At receiver, we're still three deep. At inside linebacker, we're still three deep. And so all that's doing is facilitating Man, guys trying hard every day in competition, and so I really like that. And so we not only have enough players, but um, we have enough depth to where if if a player isn't ready on any given day, man, it, guys go by him. And so I'm actually looking for the scrimmage t tomorrow to be able to solidify some of those things and uh, to make a few more decisions as to who gets more of the reps. Considering the experience and projected depth in the secondary, are you as settled there right now as you'd like to be? I don't think so. Um, we're similar there. We have a lot of depth, and there's different combinations that we could be playing, and and possibly even a, a position change or two to get the best four on the field. And so there's quite a bit that will have to be determined tomorrow. I'd like to go a little longer if possible, but not manage or not hedge that too much against um, injury possibilities. Uh, most of what will that. I'm trying to sort out his competition and, and some of the position battles. Is Jeremiah going to move outside, or is he going to stay an inside guy? For Pro you? Probably inside, um, but he's versatile, versatile enough to play both. And but I would say probably inside. Do you have a movie review from the movie last night? Yeah. Um, so th there's number one. Um, You're ready for this. I am ready for this. <laughs> I've, been, I've been thinking a lot about it. In fact, I had my headband with just the eye holes patched, uh, and orange, orange would be the one that I would choose. So I highly recommend my man with the humor because he and I are so much alike in terms of sense of humor. I was even thinking helmet stickers possibly for this year with a different Ninja Turtle color based on what they do, touchdowns or maybe purple or something. And then don't underestimate the theme song at the end of the movie. Have you seen it, by the way? I have not. Okay, well, it's hard to talk to you about it. But <laughs> once you see it, the song that comes on the end. Um, thank you very much. So you might who knows? That might even be playing as we run out the tunnel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Apparently, they say that Adam Hine is the orange Ninja Turtle. That's coming from Jamal Williams. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, there, there's, in fact, that the team is kind of now looking at different members of our team and then putting them into different categories, whether they're purple, they're red, they're blue. They're, yeah, so. What do you need to work on this final week before you prep for Connecticut that you haven't figured mm. out the first week? Uh, I think Friday, uh, our scrimmage tomorrow, will tell a lot of that. And so. Um, that's really what I've been trying to express is we have a great format already in place and I think we're progressing. What the emphasis becomes will have a lot to do with what I see tomorrow night. Is anyone emerging at kicker? 
Uh, man, that changes daily. Right now, the, the statistics or the numbers um, would say uh, Trevor is uh, leading. And that's just what the numbers say. But it's close, and it changes pretty frequently. 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 <laughs> Yeah, frequently. Yeah. Where, where does Corey Edwards fit into the Corey, um, man, and coming back from his mission, um, had a little bit of a sore back. And so at some point he'll figure in. But we had three non-missionaries that were kind of healthy and ready. Can you describe how Andrew Mickelson uh, gravitated to your program after Oregon State and the mission? You know, I really don't know. He just ended up here and was kicking the ball through the uprights a lot. <laughs> so and you'll take that guy. So yeah, yeah. He, that's the guy you want. Yeah. Um, and so he came at a time in the sun summer I believe and I, I didn't even know who he was and all the reports are coming into me hey there's this guy that is really good and I didn't know anything about him. Anonymous kicker. He's now out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Coach how nice is it to have Kevin O'Mary back? I know you were worried in spring about DC. Yeah. Staffer, it, it's, it's really good. We also have added uh, Chase Larson um, who's actually uh, a nice offensive lineman too. Ed Larson's son who's a, a local coach here and so I feel really good now that we not only have one, but two snappers. Chase kind of a cool story that way, walk on from snow and just kind of All, put himself yeah. in the mix. And, and, and so we were only thinking about him as a long snapper, and we approached him, hey, do you want to play offensive line also, not knowing what that would look like, and he's pretty good. I wanted to ask about the rugby running back connection. Mm. You got Josh Whippy out there joining Paul the CK. Just, he, I'm sure he's still got a long ways to go, but as far as that. Uh, yes, I would say uh, similar, similar um, performance after just learning the game after 15 practices. He's best when you just give him the ball and don't tell him what to do, just let him run. And so we, um, anytime we tell him what to do, it kind of slows him down. And so I asked him the other day, how's it going? And coach, I'm supposed to look at the linebacker and then there's when do I go and when do I not go and then who do I block? And that's all I'm thinking. And then they give me the ball. And he said, if they just gave it to me and let me run, I'd be better. And so he has to learn the plays, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> we'll get a couple switching. Uh, um, today, uh, combinations. So trying to find the best players in the best spots um, and the right depth before we play UConn. And again, it could be in the secondary, it could be an inside backer, it could be an outside backer, it could be at running back, it could be at O-line, it could be at D-line. And there's all kinds of combinations right now, which is great. And so hopefully tomorrow I'll add some clarity to it. Any comments on the kick and punt returners? Uh, Still waiting to see who they are. Um, and that'll t probably take a little bit more time. At the midway point of camp, are you where you want to be overall? I like our team a lot, and I'm, I'm comfortable. And so again, just need basically a, a little navigational guide tomorrow on the scrimmage to say, OK, what's left? But I like where we are now.